What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and in today's video I am doing an introduction to Indy's new litter. So I did this with her previous litter and you guys really seem to enjoy it so I thought it would be fun to kind of do it again and introduce the newest litter to you guys. I don't know if you can hear all the little puppy squeals and noises behind me but I'm actually in front of the welcome box now. Here is Miss Indy down there. She is actually nursing the babies right now and they are enjoying their lunch so i'm not gonna miss them just yet but i am just super excited to introduce them to you guys i want to say a big thank you for all the love on our delivery vlog you guys seem to really enjoy it and i really enjoyed sharing that part of our journey with you guys and i'm so glad you all loved it and thank you so much for all your sweet comments i really enjoyed reading them all and it really means the world to me that you guys support us so yeah it was just really awesome to see how many of you that that video touched and i just was so thankful for all the positive feedback we got but yeah if you're new here and enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below we are so close to 20,000 subscribers I my goal is like to hit it before the end of the year and I definitely think we can do it so it means the world to me when you guys subscribe so please do that please stick around we've got so much fun puppy content coming your way and yeah without further ado let's just get into meeting the puppies all right guys before I introduce you guys to puppy number one I just wanted to come on here and say that the theme of this litter is going to be the ski town litter so i thought that was so super fun considering that they were born in december and the winter time and i didn't want to do anything like wintry because i felt like it's kind of overdone even though i do love those names and i'll definitely probably do it in the future and one of my friends jessica suggested the ski town litter theme and i just thought it was the cutest thing ever so that is where all of their names come from and that is kind of the overarching theme of this litter all right guys i've got my handy little notebook right here with all the information about the litter so i can kind of tell you guys what each puppy weighed at birth and their names and their collar color and everything like that so i just have their delivery chart right here and then each puppy has their very own little neonatal chart that we track everything on they actually start ENS and ESI today. So that's super exciting. I'm going to do that later tonight though. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started on introducing you all to the puppies. So first up we have Miss Aspen. Here is Miss Aspen. She is the cutest little girl. <laughs> he keeps wanting to focus on me, not her. Oh, that is the cutest. So she is an apricot color. She looks like she's probably going to have a wavy coat texture. She is literally just as sweet as she has a little bit of white on her and the tiniest bit of white on her chest or maybe a lot of white. I don't know. Her um, chest is, it's definitely white. I think it's almost like a light tan and she has some up her neck like you just saw and maybe some coming in on her nose. But Miss Aspen was the first one born at 12.5 ounces. So she is so super cute. Look at her. Yeah. So that is Miss Aspen. She's so cute. All right, guys. So next we have another little girl. This is Miss Vale. She is so stinging cute. She's got some white on her head and on her nose. She has little white paws. She's a little bit darker, I think, and might have a wavy to curly coat. It's looking like it. Look at that sweet baby. And then she has the tiniest bit, I think, of white on her chest there all these puppies are just gorgeous and have really pretty abstract markings it goes up her chin as well but this is miss Vale. i think she is just stunning like literally the prettiest puppy so sweet so miss Vale was second born and she was 12.5 ounces as well so she is just the sweetest little thing i'm like obsessed with her she might i don't have favorites but she's definitely Looking like she might be one because she's just so cute and she just breathed really heavy. But yeah, this is Miss Vale. All right, guys. So next we had our very first boy. I was super excited to finally get a boy after two girls, even though this litter still is dominated by the girls. But this is Tan Collar. And his name is Stowe. He has some beautiful markings as well on his little forehead. He's got a little stocking. And then he has a ton 
of white down his belly and up his chin like the most insane abstract markings he's definitely a pretty boy he also is one of the darker ones in the litter um, their dad kind of darkened as he got older so I think he might do the same look at how sweet I'm very tempted to genetically health test him and see what his testing comes back because he's just so beautiful oh my god he's so cute look at that say hello but yeah this is Mr. So and he is a big boy our boys are huge and he was 15 ounces when he was born so definitely a little chunky monkey but so stinging cute they're so sweet I just love him and he's looking like he's going to have a wavy straight wavy coat very very straight right now did you just yawn? Look at him. Oh my god, I die. They are the sweetest things. But yeah, you can kind of tell back here how much darker she, uh, he is. The light from my ring light kind of lightens him up, but he is so super sweet. He's definitely one of my faves too. I mean, they're all my faves. I can't pick one, but he's so cute. So that is Mr. Stowe. So next up is our little tiniest one of the litter. I wouldn't really call her a runt because she's very strong and gaining weight, but she definitely is the smallest and that is Miss Red Collar. She, um, her name is McCall. She is solid, so she's one of our only solid ones in the litter. Very similar to her mom in coat color, like a very pretty light apricot almost cream it's like a darker cream than indy i'm really excited to watch her grow because i think she's gonna look a lot like her mama but her name is mccall she's super cute her eyes almost look like they're about to open up but i know they're not but she's super sweet she's kind of got a darker muzzle as well but this like gorgeous little creamy tan color is kind of how i would describe her and i think she's going to have more of the like wavy coat as well that is Miss McCall, our little tiny but mighty girl. And when she was born, she weighed only 12 ounces. So she was our tiniest baby. And she's still our tiniest, but every day she's gained at least an ounce, if not more. So she's doing really good. Sometimes I just make sure to give her some extra time with mama since she is, <laughs> I can hear a little grunts, since she is so small. Yeah, let me try to show you guys her chest, how it's like solid. Oh goodness, girl. So yeah, she doesn't seem to have really any white markings on her, but she's just stunning and she's going to be so little. So that's Miss McCall. All right, guys. So next we had again, another girl. This is Miss Purple Collar Girl Breck after Breckenridge. So we shortened it to Breck though, so it'd be a lot easier, but she is another creamy tan girl. She looks like she might have a little bit of a curlier coat possibly. And she is just the cutest thing as well. She's not completely solid. I previously thought she was solid like McCall, but she actually has just the tiniest little bit of white on her chest. If you can see that right there. Yep, she's got the tiniest bit of white as well on her chest. And it's kind of crazy that we have, I think that makes seven out of eight puppies abstract because mom is SS, which means she does not carry a party. And dad is SSP, which means he does carry a party. So you would expect that only like 25% of the litter would have white markings, but literally seven out of our eight do. So it's kind of crazy how genetics kind of work and the pool kind of gives. It's just so crazy, but she is just stunning. Sweet little girl. She's seeming to be the sassy one of the litter. It's going to be interesting. Oh, it's gonna be interesting to see like how her personality develops and stuff because when we were taking pictures yesterday she was not having it at all she did not want to pose at all but she was born at 14 ounces and she was our fifth puppy born so super sweet little girl so that is miss brick so once again puppy number six was born and it was again a girl and we had miss palmer so this is Miss Palmer. She is a light blue collar girl or just blue collar girl because we don't have a, any other blue collar. But she is super cute. I don't know if you can tell, but she's definitely going to have some, she has some white on her. She's moving around. White on the tip of her head. And then I think she's getting some white coming in on her nose. She has little white feet. And then she is our girl that has the most white probably on her belly. I mean, it goes, oh goodness. It goes all the way down and all 
the way up her chin. Can I show you? Just like Mr. Stowe. So this is Sweet Little Palmer. She's once again a really pretty tan color, maybe a little bit darker than um, Breck, but looks like she's also gonna have a curlier coat as well. But she is freaking cute. I mean, they're all freaking adorable and so stinking cute. But let me tell you, there's just something about her. She's just, they're all so cute. I can't honestly choose. I would keep them all if I could. Um, and she was, like I said, puppy number six and she was 13 ounces at birth. So she was right there with our other tiny little girl, McCall, but she's just so cute. I cannot wait to see, like the older they get, their colors come in more and like their white will come through more. But this is Miss Palmer, little light blue collar girl. All right guys, so next we finally had another boy and we had green collar male, Mr. Jackson. He is so freaking cute. He's got the white spot again on his head. Really pretty creamy color, apricot color. He's definitely gonna have more of a straight to wavy coat for sure. Then he's got little tips. I think of his paws are white. And then I know, sweet boy. And then he has a little bit of white on him as well. But he is our chunky monkey. Both the boys are very chunky, but he is our biggest. He was born at 16 ounces, so he is, which is literally right at a pound. So he is just a chunky monkey, but he is so cute. It's gonna be interesting to see if he continues to be the biggest. Sometimes the smaller ones end up taking the lead when you least expect it, but for now, he is our chunky little boy and just the freaking cutest. I mean, the way that he's nuzzling up right now is just so sweet. So that is a green color male, Mr. Jackson. All right guys, so last but certainly not least is our last little girl. It would be orange color female, Camden. So Camden is a super cute little girl. She has, again, the white on her head and looks like she's having some white come in on that nose of hers. She is definitely the most visual curly one. I don't know if you can tell like how wavy and curly her coat looks compared to some of the other puppies that I've shown you guys but she's also a little bit of a lighter color. She has some really pretty like highlights almost looking in her. I don't know if you can tell that, but really pretty look to her as well. She was, like I said, the last one born at 14 ounces. So she was a good little size. She wasn't too big or too small or anything, but let me see if I can show you guys her chest. I think she has a little bit of white on her chest. Can y'all see that D? It's kind of hard to tell because she almost has like highlights. Let me see. But she is so super cute. And like I said, definitely probably going to be one of the curliest ones in the litter because you can visually already see the curl in her coat. But she is so super cute and just the sweetest thing ever. So that is orange collar female Miss Camden. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting the litter and hearing their names and everything like that. I'm just super excited to begin raising these puppies and sharing it all with you. It's just such a fun time. So if you have any video requests or anything you wanna see over the next eight weeks while we have these puppies with us, go ahead and comment that down below so I can start making all that great content with you guys. But yeah, I was just super excited to put this out for you guys and share with you all the puppies and show you all them because I know you saw them a little bit in the birth video but not you know all the way and fully so it's so nice to kind of come on here and just formally introduce you all to them so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye